Hi guys, my name is Philip Rampisa. I'm going to share with you today how you can focus and achieve your goals. And I just want to tell you, I have two master's degrees and I'm currently working on studying for a doctorate in business leadership. So when I tell you what works, I'm not telling you because I'm imagining it. I'm telling you because I know what works. And I've spoken to a lot of people. Just last week I was interviewing for my podcast this young person who achieved seven distinctions. And I've spoken to them, I've asked them what works, how do you do it? So what I'm going to share with you today works. Guys, you gotta have vision. Number one, to achieve your goals, you gotta have vision. Without vision, it's difficult to achieve your goals. And vision is important because in the present moment, we might not know who we want to be or what we want to achieve. And so when we don't know what we want to achieve, there are a lot of distractions, right? There are friends, there's WhatsApp, there's social media. It's easy to get carried away. Your vision is what is going to fuel you to move forward so that you can achieve your goals. So you've got to have a vision. You've got to know what you want to become. You've got to work hard on your dreams because that is important. You've got to know what it is that you want to achieve in a space of two years, in a space of three years, in a space of five years' time. you got to think ahead about your life. You know, you guys, you were young once, you were seven years old, you grew, right? And now you're probably 16, you're probably 17. Life goes ahead. You're 17 right now. you got to imagine your life in a five-year time frame. you got to know what you want to achieve. you got to know that when you're 23, this is what you want to achieve. you got to have goals and you got to have things that you want to accomplish. And now, to have a vision, you got to have belief, simply because things happen in our lives, right? Sometimes people tell us things. Sometimes people say bad things to us. Maybe somebody has said, you got a pointed head, or somebody said, you're ugly, or somebody has said, you'll never make it. People tell us things, and sometimes we don't give ourselves permission to dream because of all the negative things that have happened to us, because we are thinking that that can't be me. Me, a number one doctor in South Africa, no, it can't be me. Me, a South African millionaire, it can't be me. Me, me. Because, you know, people tell us things sometimes. And sometimes we don't believe in ourselves as much as we need to. So you've got to believe in yourself. And to do that, you've got to look at the history. All the successful people, most of the successful, some of the successful models have been told they are awkward because they were tall when they were younger. And some kids tease them about that, but they became successful models. DJ Fresh, you know DJ Fresh, right? He was called all kinds of names when he was growing up. He was called Fetty Boom Boom. He was called all kinds of names. And now he turned that around. He's DJ Fresh. He actually used that word fresh as his brand. And you change things, guys. It's possible to change. Justin Timberlake, when most guys were playing sport, he was in a dancing class. And some guys would say, you so sissy, because you're going to a dancing class. But we know Justin Timberlake has done very well. So you gotta believe in yourself and you gotta give yourself that permission because all of us have got something to give. It doesn't matter what anybody has said to us. You might be as short as this or as tall as whatever. All of us have got something to give. We gotta give ourselves permission to dream and whatever is negative that is used against you, you gotta turn that around because you can change your life and you can create the kind of outcomes that you want. Now to Exercise your vision is very simple, guys. It's all in your mind. It's all your thought. It's all, you, it's, it's all about you thinking about your life in a longer term. It's all about you thinking about the goals that you want to achieve so that in a present moment, even though you're sitting here right now, you know what you want to become. You know what you want to accomplish. You know what you want to contribute to South Africa. And it's very simple. The way I exercise my vision is that I take a moment every day to just close my eyes a little bit. And you can try this with me if you want. Close your eyes a little bit. Picture your life in a longer time frame. Maybe right now you're 16 or you're 17 or you're 18 years old. Just picture your life when you're 23, when you're 25, or when you're 28 years old. What is it that you want to accomplish? What contribution do you want to make? What difference do you want to make? And doing that, by the way, doing that also takes you moving from being a follower to a leader. Because at some point, you got to say, well, I've followed Rihanna. I've seen Rihanna. I'm following Rihanna on Instagram. I see what he's doing. I've followed Dallas. I'm seeing what Chris Brown is doing, but I'm done following. I want to be a leader now. I want some people to follow me. I want to make my own contribution because I, too, want my name to be known. And I, too, want people to know my name and remember what I've done. So it takes that, guys. That's what it takes. And you've got to have.